Welcome back once again. Uh, it's me, Slider, and Manga. Hiya. So, this time, we're gonna make sure we have pretty much nothing left to do that isn't main story stuff. I try and 100% as much as possible. Yeah. I realize if we're trying to 100% it as much as possible probably makes is a bit redundant. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Ignore me, I speak weird English. I'm gonna equip the Grand Grenade again. Because that'll be pretty useful for what we're up against. Okay. Where are grand grenades ever not useful? When they cost uh, an absurd amount of money to upgrade. <laughs> Doug just fell asleep. It's like, bug, bug, nah. Now we're going back through this entrance of the main gate. Hi, friend! Wanna play fetch? Catch! Oh, he caught it too good. No, that worked as a way of getting rid of those. So there was actually an area beyond here where we could grab some things. And fill in the map. Yes. The only thing that matters. Like, maybe get some stuff, but most importantly, fill in the map. Oh! More robots! More robots and more money. More robots, more money. Now I want to uh, change up my buster part slightly. Go back to max uh, attack. More holes in the wall. Found a found refractor show, it's not found any graves yet. Shiny redstone. Oh, you can evolve Eevee into Flareon now. Yay! It's all what I always wanted. And, uh. More of these guys. You woke up the guard dog. So yeah, with attack upgraded, you can kill these guys fairly quickly, actually. It's amazing how minted those dogs are. I think there'd be something here. Guess not. How about on the other side? Oh. Just wonder where that third one was. I'm always amused when a Bosses come back as just normal enemies. Yeah, it's like once I had so much trouble killing you, and then nah, nah, just shoot you in the face, and I'm done. But are you strong enough to kill the Robo Crocodiles? The world may never know. And now this, this guy thinks he's a threat. Really? <laughs> That's so cute. Should kill it. That's cute. Let's destroy it. Destroy it to some millions of pieces of money. But the main thing we want in here is in this treasure chest. A blunted drill.
I feel that, like there's something almost redundant about finding a drill in the runes. He found the drill that will pierce the heavens. If you'd found that at the bottom of that one ruin that spiraled all the way down... <laughs> well, this is the one ruin. It's the main gate. I mean, they're all connected, but I mean, at the beginning, at the end of that particular corridor. Oh, yeah. That, that would have been just absolutely perfect. There is like a 95% chance I'm naming this episode. Uh... The drill that pierces the ruins or something like that. <laughs> So we do this, we get the drill arm. The roll pretty much says that it's not the most useful to attack enemies with. Use the flower that the sickle gave you to make a Gatling gun. Yep. Don't let that secret slip to the army. Now we're gonna want to equip this all giant drill. Because why would you not want to equip a giant drill? Upgrade its yeah. energy to max imme immediately. Now it says infinity drill! <laughs> the infinity drill has to be the name of at least one mecha somewhere in Tengen, Topaga, and Lagan. Like, I don't name th know the names of all the mechas, but one of them must be called the Infinity Drill. There's no way there isn't one. Now, instead of finding this guy, let's just go to the other side. Just nope, nope, nope. This also goes to the ruins. Everywhere goes to the ruins. And more free stuff. Another long hallway. And we've reached this. But as for what we can do with the drill... We did it! I have no idea how that even works. <laughs> Who knows? Who cares? You just drill into one part of it and the entire door explodes. So yeah, that's the main purpose of this drill, to finally get past all these doors and whatnot. Though it's not that useful against enemies because of its hilariously short range. You just gotta get right up close and shoot in the face. Here's a good example when you try to drill as anything else. That works. Ow. Yeah, okay, if you gotta hurt yourself to use it, maybe you wanna switch to something else. You're just accidentally drilling yourself in the face if you get too close. You don't even know what's going on at this point. Things are happening so much. Everything is weak now. But are the purple plum bulbs worth more le more than the green ones, or less, or is it just completely Usually, it's arbitrary? the larger they are, the more they're worth. And just the colors mean nothing. Well, the colors depend on the size. I think. You already got that treasure chest. So let's open more doors. I, I just, I want to know why it explodes. Is there C4 in there? I don't know. Everything in this game just explodes. <laughs> it's like it was designed by Michael Bay. Found an ancient book. Better be nice to the ancient book, don't need to damage the ancient book. Take it very carefully and safely out of those ruins. Well, no, this place is uh, actually the future. 
if it's like ancient book, it's called the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, is that what will survive of us? Like, it could be worse. It could be Twilight, but still. Yeah. Not even Battle Royale. Nah, in the future, Battle Royale will be called a ripoff of Hunger Games. You know I'm right. If See, I know that for ages they were trying to do an American adaptation of the Battle Royale movie, but the problem is that um, teenagers murdering each other is kind of politically relevant in America always, so it's just never been a good time to show it. Especially teenagers murdering their classmates, it's kind of, there's just... They, they, they t you just haven't had long enough without teenagers actually in real life murdering their classmates to make that movie. But someday, if they ever actually do it, you can bet your life someone will claim it ripped off Hunger Games. And that'll be hilarious. <laughs> Which is too bad, because I do think Battle Royale... They, they're both trying to handle the same themes, but I just think Battle Royale does it better. Mainly because it doesn't really arse about with the romantic subplot. That's usually a good way to do things. It's like, there, it, there are romantic subplots, but they don't completely take over the whole by the way we're living in a dystopia that is exploiting the pain, painful and brutal deaths of children for money. You know. <laughs> ah! Crocodiles! Yeah, crocodiles. So there's one area in this room we haven't explored yet. We can go through this area, and if we go through the door... We also head back into the ruins. Just fit, trapped up in one far corner away from everything else. Yep. This time we have giant blocks. Which are somehow even easier to destroy. Oh, it's not to reason why. I'm gonna try to sneak up on this guy. Yeah, uh, one of them knows me. Screw it. I like how nearly any any, uh, any enemy now I can just combo to death without them doing anything. Pretty much the entirety, uh, the entire rest of these ruins, we can just explore now. Yeah, just freely wander, shoot things, find, steal stuff. You know, the usual. So over here are three treasure chests. At least two of them must be trapped. That's, cause that's a hell of a haul. Good amount of money there, and... Yep, called it. Which does end up being more money, so... Kinda. Kind of a prize, also. Thing is, it's a really obvious layer. It's like, yeah, let's flank the actual treasure with, you know, show sure if you want a booby trap, but you put the trapped one in the middle, most obvious space, and hide the actual treasure somewhere. Yeah, but then you would think of that, and so they made it so obvious that you would think it's too obvious. <laughs> Reverse psychology robot edition. That being said, uh, I don't know how people would continually fall for it, because the treasure chest would be open if the person died. That is true. Like, oh, I'm dying, I hate things that are open, closes it in his last breath. <laughs> but then, even then, you walk in a room and there's a bunch of burned skeletons in front of one of the treasure chests, you're like, maybe not gonna touch that one. No, no, someone's like, wow, this one must be really important. Oh, 
Also, in that treasure chest, we got an old launcher. I'd, I'd be careful about firing any older weapon in case it blows up in your face. Like that. Except that's meant to blow up in your face, and goodness knows why. So this is another area we've been into before. And now we can explore all of it. Whee! Why are there so many giant blocks? Why do they all explode <laughs> when you drill them? Not even when you drill, when you drill for literally a second. Just, are the giant blocks a C4? I don't know. I don't know. Why are there so many giant blocks? Really? Why why make this? Who hit it like this? Ooh. Okay, well that one's hiding a thing. A refractor shard and nine hundred and twenty plumb bulbs. Yeah, that's that that's totally worth hiding behind all those blocks. Who moved them here? Maybe that maybe one of the big robots just moved them all here out of boredom. Board, gonna randomly re rearrange the place. Actually, isn't isn't that what Glados does anyway? Maybe this is aperture science in the future. <laughs> or like distant past future aperture science. Mega Man is for science. We got the main core shard, which is as vague an item as you can get. What or where is the main core and why is it in shards? Just having a staring contest with the box in case it explodes. The Rapid Striker. Oh, Rapid Striker. Couldn't see the text, it was very small. <laughs> it's very small and I am very short sighted. Even when wearing my glasses, apparently. See, those columns look like they've got the same texture as those explodey blocks, so... But they don't. Oh. They don't They don't explode. Oh. Probably because if they destroy them, the whole room would just collapse. Oops. Yeah, you don't want to do that while you're inside them. And reach the exit, and through this door... To freedom! <laughs> or something. Where do you think it takes us? More, more ruins. Well, obviously. The other side of this thing. So, now you're going where the robot crocodiles live. That sounds like a fantastic... Now that we have lots of po power, let's get revenge on them. <laughs> At last we can kill you. Kill you in your mysterious physics defying balls of water. Feels so good to just be able to kill them all. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. This is my attempt at strafing. It doesn't go well. I think I got enough things. Ah! Satisfied your need for vengeance, time to go shopping! How did I get over here? <laughs> did I just teleport here? Did you have a cat with you? Is that how you teleported? Probably. It's one of those late stage LOPs where sentences like, Did you have a cat with you? Is that how you teleported? actually makes a kind of sense. What would I do if the customer came here? Live? 
They haven't evacuated again. And he's like, but maybe someone will want to buy crappy electronics during the evacuation. That's what's important, right? Obviously. You can't evacuate without your crappy electronics. All the bread I can eat. Woo! You have so much money to spend on stats. <laughs> At this point, we can just keep buying extra packs over and over and over. At this rate, we'll be able to live forever! Woo! The secret to immortality is having money. Who'd have thought it? Now, with 22 of those, which literally means. Which essentially means we have like three lives worth if we go into any sort of battle. Good to have. What else can we do? First of all, find what we can make with all the stuff we got. Just keep throwing stuff at Roll and watch your magic weapons out of it. Our old launcher arm supporter and ancient book was made to make the spread buster. <laughs> A wonderful thing that fires multiple bombs simultaneously. How did a book... How did a book... Well, obviously it was an ancient guide to bomb making. This is another buster part that uh, upgrades a bit of uh, everything. Always handy. Now you never have to stop shooting, ever. You're a dangerous pair of children. If they were evil, this entire place would be in ruins at this point. <laughs> One of those moments of, what if your main character was evil? Everything would be doomed. They were the great disaster all along. <laughs> and one last thing. Do you have more exciting things to give to the curator? Yep. That's quite a find you've got there. It's called a giant horn. <laughs> she likes Maybe your giant horn, Mega Man. On TV with these on display in their houses. They're worth a lot. Would you let me put it on display here, please? Thank you so much. I bet there are a lot of people who come to see <laughs> Everyone wants to see Mega Man's giant horn. Yep. I mean, she's clearly very excited about it. I'm gonna display Mega Man's giant horn for everyone to see. One day I will stop making and being amused by cheap innuendo, but today is not that day. Penis. <laughs> I hear there's a digger. I don't know who it is. It couldn't possibly be, you know, the really famous person standing in front of me who does literally everything in this city. That's a Reaper bot eye. Look at it. So beautiful the way the light goes through that translucent red. These are grade one national treasures. There have been lots of diggers who disappeared in the dungeons looking for these. That would be the Yeah, it's not actually it's red glass, it's just kinda of soaked with blood. <laughs> would it really be alright if I put it on display here? I wonder what she'll say about this. Thank you so much! I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. Never would have guessed. I'm pretty sure she would react that way if you gave her a pile of dirt. Well, you know, it, clearly it's dirt from the ruins. It's rumored to have special Reaverbot properties. It probably has a Reaverbot's footprint in it or something. Oh yeah, forgetting all the treasures in the museum. 
this girl gives you a thing. So you're like, do, here, do you want my uncle's coast statue? <laughs> Prism crystal. Now, I have the weapons plan and the prism crystal are two out of three items I need in order to get the best weapon in the game. But I had no idea how to get the last one until I actually beat the game. So that, that'll happen in the extra video if I ever get done with doing everything else. A weapon that's made out of a coast statue. I bet that's fun. Um, sir, you said you were looking at an opinion of a girl. That That's a map. That's, that's not a person. That's a map. You, you might need to go get your prescription checked, dude. I mean, I think he meant that picture, but he's not looking at that picture at all. It's wonderful, whatever it is. Modern art, my dear. It isn't anything. And with that, uh, outside of my inability to get the final weapon, uh, that's pretty much everything. You can probably do without the coast weapon. <laughs> probably. Roll, can you build me a coast weapon? <laughs> I love how it makes a boing sound. The disappointed spring noise. Okay, with that all the way, uh, next time we'll be heading back into the main gate in order to finally open that, uh, central gate in order to figure out what's behind those giant doors. And how often do you have to shoot it? Because let's be real, you're going to have to shoot whatever's in there. I'm not sure if the ringing silence is agreement or if I have the ending of this game horribly wrong and in fact you just have to marry one, your, you know, your choice of uh, power member or something. I don't know. Yes, exactly. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I think it's... I think it's... I don't probably just find like... Uh, <laughs> be great. He goes inside. It just... It, it's an IOU note. <laughs> Yeah, we were going to store, you know, the great treasure of our robot civilization down here, but we kind of spent it on all those robot guard crocodiles. Uh, they're, they're really good crocodiles. I'm sure no one will destroy them. Didn't you enjoy the crocodiles? No. We also spent a lot of money on uh, uh, digging up holes to put all, all our things in. We'll, we'll grab them someday, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, you know, we don't have any other storage. We just put things in holes. Though our favorite thing to buy was, uh... Probably those animatronic dogs. <laughs> the, weren't they adorable? Don't you just love those animatronic dogs? Who's your good puppy? Who's your good robot puppy? They're gonna get Robot Peter on your ass when they find out. Maybe that maybe that's the final boss battle. Robot Peter. <laughs> Robot Peter.